You guys got to check this out. 9to5poker.com. New website. They give me my own page. It's a website about poker vloggers. This is my page. Pretty cool. The lady post. There's Andrew Nimi. The troopers on here. Jeff Borski. Even Jake Cody. Check it out. Click on the video, play it right from the page. Let's go play some poker. Hey, hey how cool is that? That's when I was playing at MGM. Making money. Woohoo! Pond Boy Poker. We got a menu. Poker vlogs. They're all listed. There's me, Pond Boy. Right next to the poker crowd. There's the home page. 9to5poker.com There's Andrew Nimi. There's me right there. Got a list of other poker vloggers. Like a one-stop shop. They have a slogan. The one-stop shop for poker vlogs. How good is that? Check it out. You know, I love the other poker vlogs that uh, everybody does something similar, but you know, they got their own take on things, their own style, their own demographic, as they say. And some are all poker related, some are cash games, some are tournaments. And, you know, I think they all do a great job. So, I like to. Uh, Applaud all those guys. I'm on my way to Harris Cherokee again, my closest casino. Two hours, 45 minutes away. Two hours, 40 if I drive real fast. And uh, I'm gonna, it's Sunday, May 7th. And I'm gonna play some cash game. There is a deep stack tournament. $250 buy-in at 2 p.m. Um, played it once before. Pretty good tournament, but I feel like a good cash game session today, so I'll probably just stick to that. I don't have Starbucks, but I have McCafe from McDonald's. $1.12 coffee. I'm a cheapskate. Don't go to Starbucks too often. When I do go to Starbucks, I enjoy it. Trooper, this is some coffee cam action just for you. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. That's good. It's not really, it's pretty crappy, but yeah. it's hot, sweet. And wet. What more can a man ask for? When I was in uh, the Royal Air Force over in Germany, back in the late 70s, early 80s, we uh, we used to have uh, coffee and tea, NATO standard. <laughs> Cream and two sugars, NATO standard, and that's how I always have it. Um, over here, the portions of sugar are pretty small. I, I, I just have a sweet tooth these days, so I, ha I have a little bit extra sugar. It's getting closer to my trip to Vegas. That's going to be in about another three weeks' time. I'm planning on what I'm going to be doing whilst I'm in Vegas. So any suggestions, let me know. I've already had a few suggestions of poker rooms to play from you guys, and... Uh, I'll certainly be uh, looking those ones up. I'd like to do some poker room reviews, but hopefully I'm just going to vlog my uh, experiences though, vlog my day. It's the WSOP that starts, so I'm going to get over there and play a couple of those daily tournaments. And I believe there's a huge buy-in event on whilst I'm there. On the Thursday, I'm not sure, $111,000. No, I won't be buying into that. But um, hopefully I might be able to catch some of the 
famous faces who are going to be buying into that on the blog who knows I'd like to say thanks to all my subscribers thanks to all the new ones welcome aboard try to read all my comments um, it's not like I've got 50,000 subscribers and uh, yet <laughs> So uh, at the moment I'm able to uh, read all the comments So welcome to all my uh, visitors and watchers and uh, thanks for all the good wishes and thanks for all the positive um, comments I really enjoyed making the blog and we've got through January, February, March, April and we're into May so we're doing good I'm vlogging my 2017 experience and having a fantastic time doing that. And thanks to my wife and kids for the support. And I wouldn't be able to do this without the, without the support and help. Um, I've got mouths to feed, as they say. And i got a business to run. And I've got a million things. And they're allowing me to not only play poker but vlog poker and that's so time consuming so that's really really good of those guys and they're having they're having a bit of fun with it as well you know I stuck a few of my kids on the blog just so that you know I'm a family man and I'm uh, you know who I am what I'm doing things like that so so thanks to everybody watching the vlog, I'm, I'm having a real good time making it. Back at Harris Cherokee. I'll play some poker. Just uh, called in. Got my name on a 2-5 list. There's 19 on the 1-2 list. Four waiting on the 2-5 list. So put my name on both lists, but I'll probably just play 2-5 today. Seeing as I don't fancy waiting too long. Poker, that away. I'm on the way anyway, so I'm just gonna go and get a drink. I'll get back up the wrong way. A couple of my home game buddies are in the room. That's pretty nice. Got a drink. Shout out to Adam who's uh, sat in seat 8 and Daniel who's sat in seat 9. Okay, I'm playing this 2-5 game. Doing okay, holding my own, about even at the moment. I was stuck about 300 to begin with, real early within the first 20 minutes. But I got that back, I was up a couple of hundred, it was about even. one hand with uh, ace six of hearts guy I I limped him guy raised it I called what come down two hearts he had kings it's really simple he continuation bet I went all in he called and the seven of hearts came on the flop so what a big hand there. that was nice that got me back but uh, I had aces, bet 30, everybody folded. Folded a big ace queen hand against a guy's $300 river bet. There was ace queen on the board, but there was a straight possibility. And the way he was betting all the way made me feel like he flopped a set more than anything. Um, there was only 
It was only about 120 in the pot, and he bet 300. Making it look like a bluff or something, but I think uh, I think it was a fold. Uh, I don't know. But um, back level, enjoying myself. Go back play a couple more hours, see if we can uh, book a win. I open from middle position in this hand with pocket nines, and uh, I open for fifteen dollars, which was pretty standard for that table, and there was three callers, so. Um, you know, that was a pretty normal situation for that table. A flop middle set, so I was really happy with the flop. Uh, it was king, nine, seven, rainbow. But the guy in first position, uh, Donk bet $30. He just started leading out. So I could have raised, but I just called, and the other two got out of the way. Now, the turn was the five of hearts, and the guy continued betting, $45. So I continued trapping and uh, just smooth called him. Uh, there was a possible straight on the board, but I don't think I was too worried about that. Uh, the river was the four of diamonds. The guy bets a hundred dollars. So, you know, I had an easy call there. If he made a straight, so be it. I was, it was not a board there any longer that I could raise on. So I just made the call and I worry. He shot, he shot king, jack of diamonds. And I took it down. He just flopped top per and must have thought he was ahead. So, really happy. <laughs>